Technology and Livelihood Education. Industrial Arts for Grade 7. Quarter 4 Week 1 Part 2. Our topic is Areas in Industrial Arts. The content standard for this lesson is The learners demonstrate an understanding of the concepts in industrial arts services. The performance standard is The learners perform mensuration and calculations following safety precautions. Here are the learning competency and learning objectives for this lesson. How and why did the Industrial Revolution happen? What was the message of the Industrial Revolution? How did the Fourth Industrial Revolution affect the industrial arts? Do you know what area of industrial arts is shown in the picture? Content Area Vocabulary Carpentry is the skilled trade of working with wood to create structures, furniture, and other items. It involves measuring, cutting, shaping, and assembling wood using various tools. Carpenters work in construction, home improvement, and custom woodworking project. Masonry is the skill of building with materials like brick, stone, or concrete. Masons use these materials to make strong walls, foundations, and other parts of buildings, creating stable and lasting structures for homes and buildings. Plumbing involves the installation and maintenance of systems for water, sewage, and gas in buildings. Plumbers work with pipes, fittings, and fixtures to ensure proper water flow, drainage, and heating, ensuring safety and functionality. Mechatronic servicing involves maintaining and repairing systems that combine mechanics, electronics, and computing. Technicians work on machines like robots, automated equipment, and other smart systems to ensure they operate smoothly and efficiently in industries like manufacturing. Are you fascinated by using different tools in assembling things? For me? It's a yes. I think it's really cool to use different tools to put things together. It's like solving a puzzle or building something from scratch. Each tool has its own job, like a hammer for nails or a screwdriver for screws. When you use the right tool, everything fits perfectly, and it feels awesome to see the finished product. How about you? Are you dreaming of becoming an inventor someday? Yeah. I think it would be super fun to be an inventor. I could come up with cool ideas for new gadgets or ways to make things better. It would be awesome to create something that could help people or make life easier. Plus, I love the idea of making things that no one has ever thought of before. How about you? The industrial arts strand can help you reach that dream. The following are the areas in industrial arts. The areas in industrial arts. Industrial arts allow students to acquire insight into various technical and trade areas. Lab or shop classes are not designed to turn out tradespeople or technicians, but to acquaint students with multiple occupations requiring mental and manual skills. Industrial art class experiences will have carryover value in later life, in job situations, in consumer knowledge, or possibly in home maintenance. Vocational building trades allow students to explore 20 areas of pre-apprenticeship training for those considering construction as a career. Craftsmanship is not dead, it just must be taught and honored. 
The industrial arts strand under the technical vocational livelihood track provides students with the necessary knowledge and skills for employment. These include technical and manual skills in 1. Construction sector, 2. Electrical and electronic sector, 3. Heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and refrigeration, 4. Metals and engineering sector, 5. Automotives and land transportation sector. 1. The construction sector. It involves building and assembling structures like homes, bridges, and roads. A. Construction painting. The process of applying paint to buildings and surfaces for protection and aesthetic purposes. B. Furniture making. Crafting furniture items like tables, chairs, and cabinets, typically from wood or other materials. C. Carpentry. Working with wood to create, install, and repair structures and furniture. D. Masonry. Building structures from stone, brick, or concrete, like walls, pathways, and foundations. E. Tile setting. Installing tiles on floors, walls, and other surfaces for decoration and functionality. F. Plumbing. Installing and maintaining water pipes, fixtures, and heating systems in buildings. Number 2. Electrical and Electronic Sector. This sector deals with electrical systems and electronic devices. Letter A. Electrical installation and maintenance. Setting up and fixing electrical systems like wiring and lights in buildings. B. Electric power distribution line construction building power lines to deliver electricity to homes and businesses. C. Transmission line installation and maintenance, installing and caring for high-voltage power lines that carry electricity over long distances. D. Electronic products assembly and servicing, putting together and fixing electronic devices like phones and computers. E. Mechatronics servicing, maintaining and fixing machines that combine mechanical parts, electronics, and computers, like robots. Number 3. Heating, Ventilation, Air Conditioning, and Refrigeration Sector. This sector focuses on systems that control temperature and air quality. Letter A. Domestic Refrigeration and Air Conditioning Servicing, Installing, Maintaining, and Repairing Home Refrigerators and Air Conditioners to Ensure They Work Properly. Number 4. Metal and Engineering Sector. Involves using tools, machines, and techniques to shape, cut, and join metal to create functional and artistic products. Letter A Gas Metal Arc Welding, GMAW. A wire melts to join metals while a gas shield protects the weld. It's fast and good for larger projects. B Gas Tungsten Arc Welding, GTAW. A tungsten electrode creates a precise weld with the help of shielding gas. It's used for high quality, detailed work. C Shielded Metal Arc Welding, SMAW. A stick electrode, stick welding, melts to form the weld, with a protective coating to keep it clean. It's versatile and used in many types of metalwork. Number 5. The automotive and land transportation sector focuses on repairing, maintaining, and operating vehicles like cars, motorcycles, and trucks, ensuring they are safe, efficient, and functional for transportation purposes. Letter A. Automotive servicing. This involves repairing and maintaining cars, trucks, and other vehicles to ensure they run smoothly and safely, b. Motorcycle or small engine servicing. This is the maintenance and repair of motorcycles, scooters, and small engines like those in lawnmowers or generators, and c. Driving. The skill of operating vehicles, including cars, trucks, and motorcycles, ensuring safe and efficient transportation. A time to remember.
This is Teacher Mylene. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.